Look, but these gals that want to buy it, most of them are old and dignified. Social registered types, you know what I mean? They can't be trotting down a Times Square to pick out the merchandise. They gotta have some kind of uh, middleman. And that's where old Daniel comes in, you know what I mean? Hey! I'm walking here! I'm walking here! Up yours, you son of a bitch! You don't talk me that way! Get out of here! Don't worry about that. Actually, that ain't a bad way to pick up insurance, you know. It's crazy. I start like you paying that dame that you told me about double sawbucks. You know, with proper management, you could be taking home 50, maybe a hundred dollars a day. Easy. Hey, hey, Brucey, hang in there, baby. What's that? In my place with O'Dania about two weeks ago. He ain't much of a stud either, from what I hear. All right, all right. Hey, Horton, <coughs> how about you take me to meet this Mr. Dillbird right now? What do you say? What do you say about that? Well, Joe, you're a nice guy, and actually, I'd be doing both of you as a favor, but, you know, for what? What am I dragging my bum leg around town for, you know? I mean, tomorrow, some piece like that is liable to be scratching your back over there at the plaza, and where am I gonna be, you know? Where? Oh, oh, hold on. Hold it right there. You think I'm that kind of son of a bitch? <laughs> Well, you just you just name your cut, whatever you want. You you got it right now, I swear. It's all right. What you want? Five? Ten? What? Are you kidding me? You know what? I'd ask somebody else. Well, right. There's ten right there. All right, all right. I'll tell you, forget it. I'll do. I'll take the ten. But when I take you over to see Mr. O'Daniel, I'm gonna have to have another ten just to cover expenses. All right? Uh, Come on. I'll buy you his coffee, huh, please? <coughs> Get out of here. Come on, let's get the Go to work.